What's going on everybody? Well, welcome back to the channel today and if you are new, thank you for joining us. My name is Chris and this is the Christopher Scott channel and we like to keep fish, ponds, reptiles, small animals, and things of that nature. And for anybody that is returning, thank you very much. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. For anybody that's been around for a while, you've been waiting for this 300 gallon tank. Well, the wait is over. The next three videos that will be released on my channel after this one, which will all come out next week, will be about the 300 gallon. It'll be a three part series, redoing the sump filtration system, scaping the tank, and then stocking it with fish. So make sure you have your notification bell on so you do not miss that content. Now, as far as today's video goes, what we're gonna be focused on is we're going to actually be building a very super easy and cheap little uh, plastic tub pond, if you will. And you could keep things like mollies and guppies or platies and things of that nature in it or you could put little minnows in it or things like that. We're going to be doing this with another channel. So you've seen them on my channel before and that is the 5M Homestead channel and they are actually family members of mine and they run a homestead channel and their son Reed really wants a pond. So I thought let's go out and help him set this thing up since they're not fish keepers. Teach him some things and show him how proper maintenance works and things like that. But before we get out to their house to do this pond setup, I wanted to go ahead and feed my aggressive pond indoors kind of show you these fish they haven't eaten and they're ready to eat so it's gonna be you know hopefully it's kind of epic we'll see but anyway all right guys well we really need to feed this predator pond so we're gonna go ahead and do that now we have our big arowana we have our water cow goby and our knife fish and everything else that's going on in here so let's go ahead and give them some shrimp and see there is the feather fin catfish and he took it he took it before the arowana even realized it was over here arowana Oh, oh, there you go. And on Goby Mid Choir. Oh, come on, Goby. All right, well, we went ahead and fed all of the predator fish in the indoor pond. That arowana is getting so big, and the water cow goby is massive. The water cow goby will take your finger off if you put it in there, and that's why I don't put my hands in there anymore. But anyway, we've got them fed, so let's go ahead and get out today. Go check out the 5M Family Homestead and get this little pond set up for Reed. What's going on guys? Well, we're here with uh, the 5M Family Homestead channel, which you guys have seen on my channel before just because, well, they're family. If they weren't family, we wouldn't be here, but <laughs> I'm kidding. But you've seen on my channel before, we've done some stuff. What did we do before, Reed? I think we put my 10 gallon or that 10 gallon uh, $30 tank in. Oh yeah, we did. Time. I gave you my native tank and then I set up a better tank for you too, right? What we're here for today is, is that we're actually gonna be setting up a little, kind of like a bait well pond, if you will. He lives close to the creeks and maybe put some creek chub. Anyway, but we're gonna be setting up this little pond for Reed today. So we brought a couple of things with us, some substrate and some chemicals and things like that that he needs because he is not a professional fish keeper. And in fact, I'm not a professional fish keeper either, but we're gonna see how this works out today. So let's get into this. So what we're gonna be using for our pond basin is a is just a standard storage bin. And really the whole purpose of that is, is because it's cheap, it's easy to set up, and this will be an easy first large quantity water kind of pond for Reed to learn how to take care of and manage and maintain. Part of that is going to be also some really important plants and that is just simply because of the fact that well as you know plants will keep the nitrates down as well as provide shade for the fish because well fish in fact get sunburned what yeah one of the substrates we're going to be using is pool filter sand which you guys know is something that we use all the time in all of our builds as well as a little bit of pea gravel just for some decorations and things of that nature and then Reed, you have some wood as well right yeah yeah, we got a piece of driftwood we're gonna be throwing in there as well. And then you got little uh, Max Robert over there who is not even like participating for some reason. And I don't know why, but that's okay. And then we got Tobin over here who is the, the owner of the 5M Family Homestead channel and homestead and chickens and pigs and everything else that's over here. So what do you say, Easton? What should they do? Subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, hit, hit the like button like I just said, and comment down below if you like fish. Yeah, and then they should also click like the link to your channel mm -hmm. in the description below what do you say we're going to get into this pond build well Reed. so the first thing we're going to need to do is even though this pool filter sand is pretty clean already we want to go ahead and just clean it a little bit more all 
sorry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the sand and you just wanna pick it up with your hand and start throwing it into the bottom here. And the reason we're doing that is because the water that's dripping off is still gonna have some dirt in it. So we wanna get as much of that dirt off as we can. So driftwood you really should soak and because this is a fresh piece of wood as soon as we put water in here guess what's going to happen to it it's going to float it's going to float so what we're going to do is we're going to take the rock we're going to put it right here which still gives you the cave structure but it keeps this from floating up so now the only thing left is we need to put some water in here to start so do you want to go get the hose So today's video is not sponsored by API, but API is a channel sponsor, which we really greatly appreciate and we love their products too. All right, now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and quick start this. API quick start, this allows the instant addition of fish. Now, as you guys know, even with using this stuff, you really wanna let it naturally cycle over time as well, but okay. I think you're gonna allow that to happen anyway, right? So I brought you a few different plants, reed. So the first thing we're gonna add is something called hornwort. Hornwort is an easy plant to grow and it is a really good natural way to remove nitrates from your water. This stuff will grow like crazy. And then I also brought you a java fern, which is another good plant that'll grow easily. And then we have a whole bunch of frog bit, which is like small little mini lily pads. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and read. Hopefully you enjoy your new pond setup that you were planning on doing anyway. I just came over here and took over control because, well. I don't know what I'm doing. Exactly. But hopefully you do enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you have not subscribed yet, what should they do? Go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't liked the video, like the video for read. And comment below and let us know what you think about this little bait well slash fish kind of new little tiny pond for you mm -hmm. right it's actually super cool super cheap all in all it probably costs maybe 30 bucks 35 dollars cheap easy porch pond so yep. like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you decide to subscribe if you haven't already make sure you follow us on instagram and facebook all of those links are in the description as well as the link for the 5m family homestead channel so go check those guys out as well and hey we will see you next time